David Letterman revealed he was a victim of an alleged blackmail plot. The late night host joined a growing list of celebrities who have faced threats to tell all. But is it always a crime when someone gets paid to not go public with details about a celebrity's private life? Here's Andrew Camby. When Robert Joe Halderman allegedly shook down David Letterman for $2 million last month, prosecutors say he didn't just demand money. What this is, is a, a guy is going to write a screenplay about me. Instead, they say Halderman, a 27-year veteran of television news, did what he knew best. He offered to sell a story. Prosecutors say much like the shows he produced, Halderman allegedly outlined a compelling plot of a late-night comedian whose world would, quote, collapse all around him. The creepy stuff was that I have uh, had sex with women who work for me on this show. And while it might seem more like fiction than fact, in the high-stakes world of celebrity, selling a story ripped from real life isn't that uncommon. Did you try to extort her? No. In 2006, a chauffeur named Coral Carson threatened to write a tell-all book and expose private photos of his boss, Yoko Ono, unless she paid $2 million. But Ono went to police, and Carson eventually went to jail. That same year, action star Bruce Willis said a childhood friend had threatened to sell a manuscript about him, which the star said was full of lies. That case was settled out of court. I think celebrities have reputations that are magnified from regular people, and I think that's one of the reasons it matters so much. Their brand is very valuable. In fact, from Janet Jackson to Roseanne Barr, celebrities have gone to court or gone public with allegations someone tried to blackmail them by selling their sordid stories. You can pay to try to keep it secret, but ultimately the extortionist always has the potential of coming back and continuing to haunt your life. So oftentimes that's why celebrities do go to law enforcement. Cole says in this case, Joe Halderman's attorney might say his client wasn't trying to extort money at all, arguing Halderman was just selling a movie script, something he alluded to on GMA last week. One of the elements that the prosecution has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt is specific criminal intent. My point is that, that uh, by, by what I've learned so far, I'm comfortable in saying that Joe Halderman did not have the specific intent required by the statute. Raising the questions, when it comes to the private lives of public figures, how much are celebrity secrets worth? And when is threatening to expose them a crime? And when is it just an easy way to make money off a good story? For Good Morning America, Andrea Canning, ABC News, New York. And for more legal insight on these cases, noted defense attorney Roy Black is joining us from Coral Gables, Florida this morning. And Roy, we, we know that Joe Haldeman, we have all indications that his defense will be, hey, just trying to sell a screenplay here. Is that his only defense? Will it work? Well, it's his only defense because obviously he gave a one-page treatment with the diary excerpts attached to uh, Letterman, so he's really locked into that. His problem is that it's perfectly lawful to sell a script to do a film or give it to the tabloids and all of that, so you can sell it to expose it. What you can't do is go to the victim and say, you pay me to keep it quiet. That's the difference between selling a script and extortion. Yeah, explore that a little bit more for us because a lot of people have been talking saying, hey, there are books that are written, you see TV shows, certain series, and you're watching it going, hey, I know who they're talking about here. So the difference being that you didn't go and try to get paid for that from that person, right? Yes, well, the thing is, you if you have an idea or you know a secret about somebody and you want to sell it to a tabloid, to a TV show, to 2020, you can do that all day long. There's a First Amendment in this country and you're free to do that. What you cannot do is through fear and intimidation, go to the target, to the victim and say, I'll keep it quiet if you pay me. It's well, a difference between exposing it and right. keeping it quiet. Well, of course, we know about this because David Letterman went on his own program and told us, but this happens more times than, than we think? Happens quite a bit? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Because you, remember, for blackmail or extortion, number one, you need a reputation, and number two, you need a secret that's pretty ugly that's gonna hurt your reputation. So celebrities are the classic target of this. They've got a reputation, they've got TV shows, they've got a name that could be hurt. So people who know secrets about them, can cash in on it. As we said, we only know about this because David Letterman made it public. Uh, what's the advantage? Is there an advantage to going public with something like this? 
You, I don't really think so. I think uh, that Letterman would have been better off just going to his wife and saying, this is what's going on, and then calling Holderman and say, do what you want. But if you do it, I'll see you later. I'll report you for blackmail or what have you. The problem is, by reporting it, you put it in our legal system, which now aid and abets the blackmailer by exposing it all. And look what's happening with Letterman. He's the story. It's all about his sexual escapades. And so, unfortunately, the legal system doesn't help the victim here. It doesn't. All right, Roy Black, thanks so much for your time, as always. Have a good day. Appreciate that. Thank you, Robin. Okay.